we know fish, we talk about it on the show, can be a really healthy food, packed with healthy omega-3 fats, protein, recommended by many health authorities, but because of the mercury levels in many popular types of fish, including tuna, the government recommends limiting exposure to high mercury fish. We were a little curious about this, so with the help of Safe Catch, we tested three popular brands of canned tuna, as well as two organic brands, with the goal of just trying to figure out when, you know, if the government says, okay, a couple of cans of tuna a week should be fine and safe, how consistent are the levels of mercury in between different brands, types of tuna, organic versus conventional? And without getting into all the results, it was remarkable the variation mm -hmm. in the amounts of mercury in these cans of tuna. I, I love tuna, and I, I probably have on average a, a can a week. And I love having it in my diet, but look, these are fish. So you, one can from a brand could be completely different than another can because these predatory fish are the ones who develop more of a mercury burden. Tuna, swordfish, shark. Bigger the fish. Predatory. And there's, I, there's, there's safe. But I think the, the key from the research from Safe Catch was that, that you could have eight times the recommended weekly dose in one can, and yet you're supposed to safely and think you can have about two and a half cans a week. So you, the major brands, the ones that you could come to mind when you think tuna fish, they actually were the safest. And you know, why are we mercury. even talking about mercury? We know that, that mercury can affect the de developing brains, so particularly important for pregnant women. In that case, the canned salmon that we tested were all safe, and I think that that would be the route to choose. That's a smart alternative. When you're pregnant or thinking about getting pregnant, you should really deliberately lower your mercury, mercury levels. But unlike getting your cholesterol tested, which is a routine doctor thing, nobody tests mercury levels. So you have to go to a specialist who's going to test that, right? It or also- you Do it in your hair or something, but it costs, it's usually cash. Like how do, you, how do people even know if they have elevated mercury? I do think it also gets back to something we always discuss on the show, which is when it comes to food, moderation is important. And meaning that you will say, okay, well fish is good for you, and it is, but if you're doing the same thing at every single meal, no matter what food it is, if all you ever eat is literally all I ever ate was one particular type of food, you're probably going to get too much of and, something. And I've seen and people malnutrition do and that yeah. at least temporarily on tuna fish diets where, where they have a can of tuna fish every day for lunch. I've seen people do that trying to lose weight quickly. Well, I, in, a, in a scenario like that, maybe you could raise your mercury so levels. True story. When I was in college and I took up weightlifting. I was a really skinny kid when I got to college, bean pole. And as I started to fill out, I would have tuna a lot. And in my dormitory, I was a hated man because I would, of I would make it in my dorm and then I would take oh, the can smells, and leave it in like a fish. group trash can out in the hallway. And everyone hated me because it was, Ah, oh, Travis is eating tuna again because of the smell. <laughs> from well, but I mean, it, it is a great source of protein I love and lean it. and... Just be aware.